Welcome to Audiology, the all-new Audi A3. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the training. Have your phone in hand, app open, and ready to engage. Nico, you've shown me the exteriors of this car. We did this boot challenge test, and uh, now it's time to see what's happening on the inside, man. Let's jump inside, Alfred. Let's go. <sighs> Alfred, before we continue, okay. let me take you to a cool place. Watch this move. What's happening now? That car is yellow, and we're in a Merc. I think it's been a, it's a glitch in the matrix. Is this an AMG? Yes, it's a, I think it's an A35. So something's wrong in the matrix. Okay, so we're in a so we're 80s now. He's now. Let's talk about a Merc while we're here. We are. Mark, I'm old. A Mercedes. A Mercedes. A Mercedes. A Mercedes. A Mercedes. A Mercedes. Um, a lot happening. It's really? very busy. Busy. I like this. I like this uh, steering wheel. Mm -hmm. I must say it's very sporty. It's, it's yes. it makes you feel there's a lot of little lights and buttons. Yeah. Yeah. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. I'm already, I'm looking at this thing, yeah. and my biggest problem is, is that when my navigation is on, the steering wheel here cuts off that screen from where I'm sitting. Really? So maybe that's, that's a seating position. Yeah. I don't like that. Can you switch this part to here? No, you can't. So that part has to stay so, there. So by the way, this is also standard. So the, in any Mercedes Benz, the, that's those displays is. are digital. And the air vents, the so air I'm vents. I'm not a fan control. of these air vents, but that's probably just me. It's a bit too aggressive for me. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, customization would be very similar to Audi, so you can change the, the, the colors of the infotainment system. Um, specification of both cars are very similar. So overall, the options we offer, they offer. Yeah. Uh, so in that case, uh, like for like, the, these cars are very close. It's a lot about what do you feel about the interior. Listen, I'm not, uh, I'm not disgusted by yes, it, yes. but I'm not, a, I'm not a huge fan. Let's go and have a look at the BMW. Yes, let's go. BMW. Okay. First things first. Yes. The bucket seats. I like them. They are like, very aggressive. Yes. They, they, I like the way they, they hold me. you. I yes. mean, if you're going to do sports kinds of things, yes, I mm. can feel it holding you around a corner. It's not for me. You know my story mm. on that. One thing <laughs> I found, um, I drove this for a while and I found a bit frustrating is that the, to get the backrest in you, there's a lever you pull, okay. but then you've got to move your body and it never feels at the right angle. Oh. Plus, if your belt is on, the seatbelt actually goes over the little button. So, small little That's quirk very, that irritated it's me. It's very entry-level car doing this. Yeah. It's very entry-level. So, anyway. let's talk about the, the just the immediate feeling of the, the displays and the... Listen, I, I, I won't lie. Besides the, the seats, yes. I like it. Mm. I, it's, it's a less aggressive than the Merc we saw. I will say maybe it's because I saw that mark yes. and it's very busy. Yes. And I like the fact that these screens are split yes. and the steering wheel is not cutting off my navigation. Yet. Oh. It's all practical with me. I, I also noticed when I opened the door that it's yes. a Harman Kalman, Kalman Kardon sound yes. system. Harman Kalman. Um, it, that's it, it very important. Yes. Yes. Harman Kalman, yes. Yeah. Just some details or some, some information. In the BMW, you get analog rev counter speedometer as the standard the option oh. only is a so digital I had to display. pay a little bit more you, to get this. to get that. So with BMW, it's a touch screen, so you can touch the functions over there. So you can see there's the different functions I that see. you have. I see. But that what they it can also be controlled there. So you can turn this controller and you click left and right. So it can actually be controlled over there or on the touch screen. If you don't like the touch screen, that's an interesting um, yeah. option. Um, um, tell me about space-wise, interior space, what it feels like. I like the listen, f the feel of the mm. of the of the steering is nice. I like this. I like the position. I like the seating mm. position. I feel like I can see the road nicely. So, uh, yeah. two more features: SOS function. Uh, uh, as, again, with BMW as well, and all BMWs press this to make an SOS call. Yes. Uh, sunroof. Very nice. Sunroof is big, 
but the sunroof is similar to the Merc. So you cannot, uh, you first got to open the blind to open the roof. You can't have the roof open and the blind closed, but this is quite a big sunroof. It's a lot of sunroof. <laughs> okay, so overall impression, what would you say? I like it overall, not bad at all. I like the way it looks, I like the way it feels, I like the sound system. So yeah, I like it. So we go have a look at the Audi. Let's have a look. First things first, it's electronic. Ah, <laughs> I like that. Up and down, everything mm -hmm. is electronic. Oh, that's that's great. I like that. And secondly, another big thing is now that I've, it's got a Bang & Olufsen sound system. That uh, is also very good. All right, so with the Audi, a digital display is standard and the virtual cockpit that you see over there is optional. So there's no extra payment? No, well, if you want that, of course, you're gonna pay a little bit extra, but okay. then you get, so that goes with the navigation. So that's okay. a very nice package. Again, I like the fact that there's a screen here, screen mm -hmm. here, and there's no cutoff. And in fact, there's a little bit, it's yes. a little bit more centralized so that when, if my, I'm with my wife, she can deal with that and I can deal with this. I like that. I like the feel of it. The, mm -hmm. This, this um, steering wheel feels racy because it's cut off at the bottom. That's it. I like that. But so what really, um, um, and, and we get comments, and that's not even from Audi, that everybody says that when it gets to the digital display, we do that the best. So okay. all the functions here can be mirrored there. That is very handy. It is, in my opinion, uh, the best of the three we've seen mm -hmm. in terms of that experience. The sound is, is, a, is a big deal for mm -hmm. me. And then two USB chargers over there and optionally two USBs in the back if you want. That's nice. These seats are nice, eh? Mm. It's it's yeah. sporty, but it's not like buckety bucket. Where they, they're hugging too much. Yeah, I can live with these. And then sunroof, um, even though this ma it's manual, the big benefit, as I said, is I can open the sunroof. Ah, without having to open this. That's that I see what you mean. And it's got a sift, so I still get exactly. some. Exactly, so we can have some fresh air because it's quite yeah, yeah I warm it. <laughs> Warm inside. What did you have for lunch? Anyway, we're leaving it at that. You can actually connect two phones at the same time. So uh, you and your wife can have both phones on there. You can listen to your music. If her phone rings, it'll ring. If your phone ring, it'll ring. You simply switch over to see the phone, uh, to see the, uh, for instance, your um, contact list. And of course, you can see your contact list there as well. So if you want to dial somebody, everything is right in front of you. All these things you've mentioned, Nick, is mm -hmm. right up my, uh, my, my ball alley. I've always liked simple design. The, the best mm -hmm. things in the world to me are, you know, the design and how it makes you feel better in a car. Because I live and work in my car. Mm. It's, it's a, I like to keep it clean. I, yes. like, I like the aesthetics to be nice because it makes me feel better. Yes. It must be functional and pretty. Okay. And I like this. Okay, well, we've, we've seen the cars inside. You know my thoughts. But in the end of the day, the proof is in the pudding, Nick. Does this thing fly off the mark? Can we get from here to there quicker in this than in the other two vehicles? Or uh, what's the comparison? Let me see where Neil and Craig, my two colleagues are. Let them come and help me. Craig, Neil, are you guys close? Hello, and welcome back to the second installment of Audiology, where we're talking about the all new Audi A3. So with me in the studio, I've got Alfred, Nico, and Brian. So Alfred, tell me, how was Gerotech? Listen, I've never even heard of Gerotech. It sounds like a pharmaceutical company. I, when I got there, I didn't know what to expect. It was a whole lot of fun, eh? Jumping, let me show you a trip. <laughs> but if I know Nico like I do, I'm sure you got up to a lot of exciting things. But before we get there, Nico looked at the Audi Connect. So what is Audi Connect? Well, it's safety, security, convenience in the palm of my hand. Audi Connect is safety. So if I'm involved in an accident, my car will automatically make an SOS call. If I have a breakdown, I can press a button and I can get help. Maybe I'm driving somewhere and traffic is a pain. Audi Connect will reroute me around traffic. Or maybe I just forgot that I've locked or unlocked the car and I can simply do it from my phone. So it really makes life a lot easier for me. So what do I need? I need a connected Audi. How do I know I have a connected Audi? Well, simply, if there's an SOS button in the roof module, 
I know my car is ready to go. By the way, make sure that light is green. If the light is red, it means the car isn't PDI'd yet and it's not ready for the setup process. Secondly, I simply take my phone, I download the app to my phone, I go through the registration process and I'm set to go. So how does the registration process work? Now, of course, the customer can go home and go through the process themselves. But we suggest that you actually lead the customer through the process on my Audi Go. It just makes life a lot easier. By the way, remember to help the customer register your dealership as their preferred partner. That means when it's time for a service, the car will let your dealership know and the service department can phone the customer and set a convenient time. It's also a great way to keep contact with the customer all the time. So what is the process in the car? The first thing the customer needs to do is to set themselves up as the key user. Key user meaning the owner of the car that has all the access rights. In the new Audi A3, that 10 digit code is conveniently located on the cubby hole on the right hand side. Once they are the key user, they then log into their My Audi account to have the full infotainment services. Every connected Audi has car to x services as standard. car to x services includes four things. SOS call, Audi incident assist, Audi online roadside assist and Audi service request. Let's go through each of them. First up is SOS or emergency call. If your Audi is involved in an accident, the airbags deploy or the pre-tensioners work, your Audi will automatically make an emergency call. The second option is that you see an accident happen and you want to call emergency services like police or ambulance. You now simply open up the flap and make a call. Let's do that. Audi Emergency Center, can I help you? Good afternoon, my name is Nico Smith and I'm busy with a training video. Is it okay if we have a short conversation? Yes, uh, yes for us is good. Can you tell me what information do you see of my vehicle? Okay, I see the model and the coordinates and one person inside the vehicle. And tell me what services uh, can you get if there is an emergency? What services can you summon? Yes, yes. From this line, we manage police, ambulance, and fire brigade. So we call the piece up and uh, and uh, organize the everything. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thanks for for going through this. And you too, sir. You too. Have a good day. Bye bye. Okay. Now, as you can see, you're talking to somebody else in a call center. But in this case, it's actually quite simple. It's almost like a Bluetooth call. So I tell them the emergency, whether I need an ambulance or the police, and they'll send somebody to help. Simple. You would have seen this button with an eye and a spanner. This is online roadside assist. So let's imagine I have a flat tire or have a problem with my engine. When I press this button, the call goes through to the CIC in Newton Lake, and they can send help from the closest Audi dealership. Let's make another call again. Good afternoon, you're speaking to Llewellyn, how can I assist? Good afternoon, my name is Nico Smith and I'm busy making a training video. Is that okay if we proceed? Yes, certainly. Can you tell me um, what information would you normally be uh, able to see when we make a call like this? Well, I have firstly picked up the vehicle's identification code, mm -hmm. which then allows me to, through the RSAFE system, uh, see exactly which vehicle it is. That's the model name, the chassis number. Mm -hmm. I can see exactly where the vehicle is right at this moment in Menlo Park. Okay. Can you see that I'm having a nice coffee or is that not, 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 not available? <laughs> no, it's not showing that detail. <laughs> but uh, I can see the vehicle's mileage, mm -hmm. uh, gear model, the fuel tank range, uh, battery on the vehicle. That's brilliant. So in other words, let's imagine I have a problem with my with my engine. You can then send, send help from the closest Audi dealership. Is that correct? Yes, it'll immediately show me who the closest Audi is. Mm -hmm. uh, if you were able to drive to the Audi, mm -hmm. um, I'm able to send to the vehicle's media system the directions to the Audi. Oh, brilliant. Anything else that, that you can do that I should know about? Uh, the program is also... Well, at the moment, it's not showing any warnings, mm -hmm. but if there was a warning light on, then the vehicle would show us that as well. 
Okay, brilliant. Thanks so much for the time. Have a nice day. And to you. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. There you go. It's as simple as that. It's simply a call and a conversation. If you need any help, it's a button away. Next up is Audi Incident Assist. In the case of a smaller accident where the airbag or the pretensioners don't deploy, you then get the option of either an SOS call, online roadside assist, or to cancel. The last function is Audi Service Request. In this case, the customer has already registered your dealership as their preferred dealership. When it's now time for a service, the car lets the dealership know. With that as well, if there are any faults, the dealership will also know. So when they now contact the customer, it's much more convenient. Plus, if any parts are needed, it can be pre-ordered. So there you go. Audi Car to X services makes life a lot easier with a lot of very good standard features for you and your customer. If I have a connected Audi with navigation, I get some really cool functions. First of all, I can look at the maps and change that view to Google Earth Images. If there's a traffic jam on the way home, I can drive a different route and the navigation will actually reroute me as well if it sees any traffic problems or incidents. I can look at the weather, my location, later on news will be available, and lastly, I can take my phone, send a navigation address from my phone to the car, and that just makes navigation so much easier. So what's the functionality of the app? Now, I don't have to be with a car to have a look at the phone to see if it's locked or unlocked. What is the fuel range? I can remotely lock and unlock the car. I can set a speed alert or a geofence. Geofence means if the car goes out of a certain range that I've set on the app, it'll actually alert me. If the car is stolen, I'll also get an alert. Other functionality on the app is sending addresses from the phone to the car. Also, I have my own menu where I can look at my details on my Maori account. I can add more users, plus I can change my preferred dealership if I wanted to. So there you have it. Audi Connect is simple to set up. It has lots of features and is definitely a benefit to your customer. Before I go, I have a question for you. Where do I find that 10 digit code to set up the key user? So Alfred, what is your favorite color? You know, Brian, it's funny that you should say that because I always bought the, I bought the red one, but I'm looking at this yellow behind you and I really like it. Eh? This yellow is called Python yellow. Oh, it's Python yellow. Fancy. But I tell you what, besides the colors of which there are 12 different options, uh, there are many, many other ways to customize your A3. So we are here and we've got all these beautiful cars behind us. So I know you guys know that we can customize cars at Audi. So I'm asking Neil over here, Neil, what's possible? Well, the world is your oyster. Um, I think Audi have done an amazing job with the new A3 to offer various customization options. Um, you know, we know our customers like choice. Uh, no two customers are the same. Therefore, no two Audis should ever be the same. That's certainly my belief. Uh, so as you said, we've got so many different options here behind us, and I'm going to take you through some of the spec. But if you look at the color spec, for instance, we've got 12 different colors to choose from on the new A3, um, plus the 13th option, which is Audi exclusive, so you can have any color under the sun, really, if so you want. So you can actually have any color? Any color you want. Um, then if you, if you look at the wheel designs, 13 different wheel designs. 13? Yeah, I, think, I don't think, honestly, I can't remember at any other time that we offered so many different options. They come in four different sizes, from 16s all the way up to 19-inch wheels, and I'll share some of those with you just now uh, in a second. If you look at the packages, we've got four different packages to choose from, so you can customize it. If you may be more interested in technology or more sport, you can do that as well. Um, and then also three different trim levels. With the standard car, we've got the advanced, and then we've got S-Line. Okay. So as I say, that sort of whole permutation of options that you can choose from, you can really choose a car that's going to suit your lifestyle. Okay, so come and show me. Uh, I, I mean, I want to see what's happening over here. You said 19 inch. I don't think I've ever heard 19 inch wheels on a, on, a, on a A3. Well, we've had it as an option before on the S3, but never on a normal sort of A3. like oh, so the, A3, the standard. The, the standard car, the A35 TFSI, yeah. So starting off with this car, firstly the color. Uh, this is called Atoll Blue. Um, 
And if you look Atoll at this blue. car, Atoll Blue, yeah. So the, look, this car is what we call a standard vehicle. So it's completely standard, except for the headlights. It has the optional matrix LED headlights. And we know it is standard because we can see the grille has got a matte finish to it, as well as the surround trim on the grille, on the single frame grille, is also in a matte black. And then also the, at the bottom uh, on the bumper, you can see those little, uh, the finishes are also in, in a matte black. And then the side panels, the rocker panels are in a satin finish. Around the, the uh, windows, we have a satin finish around the windows as well. But I think even as a standard spec, this car looks I fantastic. I was just going to say that. I would be completely happy with this here. Yeah. Take it home now. Yeah. I'd be completely happy with that. It's well, beautiful. Don't, don't get excited just okay. yet, because we've got a few more options to show you. So this particular car is an advanced spec, and also it has the optional black styling package. So you see the black styling package, sorry to walk in front of you, just show the black styling package. This trim is in a high gloss black. I see, well yes, I can the see the trim down here at the bottom, correct? As well as in the front here, that is in, in a high gloss black. Also the wing mirrors now, instead of being body colored, the wing mirrors are in black. And also the window surrounds have now, instead of being the satin finish, we've replaced that and made that also in black. Now we've got this car is called the S-Line specification. Oh, uh, I see, here's the S-Line detail. Yes, yeah. that's the first thing. And the other way to tell that it's got the S-Line, if you look at the little Oh, it's got a little like a grill. Yes. That so that doesn't is, have that. That okay. is linking it back to our, uh, our Quattro Rally cars from the 1980s. It had that okay. intake on the, on the bonnet. So that okay. makes it stand out. Again, this car is fitted with a black styling package. It has the optional matrix LED lights. And again, a slightly different wheel design. This is called Python Yellow. We've yeah. seen this before on other Audis, but now it's the first time we see it on A3. Uh, my favorite color, actually. I, I never cool. thought I'd like yellow, but honestly, this for me looks fantastic. I never, I've, I never seen it. I've never seen this color. Really? Yeah, and I, it's strange. It's such a beautiful color. You think you, yeah. everyone would choose it. Yeah. Ah, it's beautiful. Something to point out on this car, and while we're talking about it, just in terms of technology, of course, Audi is big in technology, you'll notice a slightly different design on the front of all the grills. Okay. So normally that would uh, indicate that the car has adaptive cruise control. Okay. Although adaptive cruise control is not fitted to the launch vehicles, it will become available at a later stage. Okay. But the adaptive cruise control, that will be like a telltale sign that that's where the radar sensor is fitted in the front of the car for the adaptive, adaptive cruise, cruise control. Adaptive cruise control, uh, I, I know about it. It's, it's very cool. I it's must a no-brainer. You have to choose it if you go for that. So we've done with the, the sport packs. Now look at the sedan. Uh, now this spec on this car, I think this is what a lot of customers will choose. This is the advanced without the black styling package. You see it's got the chrome surround, it's got the satin finish around the bottom there, and the it's trim like in the front by the well, eh? and the grill is in gloss. Ah. Well, well spotted there. Now we're getting oh, to the exciting here's the bit. the big boys. Exactly. S3. How do we know it's an S3 besides it says the S3. fact that it's, it says S3? <laughs> um, if you look at the front, the grille design is slightly different. It's got slightly bigger intakes here. And this particular car with the, I see the satin that detail. Finish. That's really cool. There we go. The satin That's finish on the front. That's a very cool here. detail. The chrome surround here. And then the satin finish on the side. Um, and this has got the, the, the 19 inch wheel is fitted to this car as well. Um, I must say, I really love this color. It's a very popular color as well yeah. for Audi customers. It's Daytona gray. Um, and again, with the optional matrix LED lights. A very popular color is turbo blue. This is a whole different blue. You can get different blues. Yes, there's atoll blue. There's a turbo blue as well. And again, black styling package, matrix LED lights. You can immediately spot that. And because and it's an S3, the, yeah. sorry, because it's an S3, it'll always have the little intakes in the front there. And remember the S3 and the S line has the same uh, intakes by the front of the bonnet there. Another S3, this now being a sedan in the Daytona gray. Something I was just pointing out, you know, technology is a big thing for us. If you notice the little um, sensor on the side here, this indicates that this car has got park assist. So this yes. car can park itself. All you have to do is control the speed. You actually, the steering is done for you. So you can take, take your hands, hands off the wheel. Off. It does parallel parking, it does bay parking, it does forward parking. So it does the steering for you. So for those tight spots when you're on the side. Uh, if you, you ever park. see my wife tell her that this thing parks itself. <laughs> now my favorite, I think is this spec. Oh. If I had to choose, yeah. and if my budget allowed, this is what I would go for. Python yellow, S3 sedan, again, black styling package, matrix LED headlights. Uh, I think this car just looks fantastic with those optional does, wheels as well. Does, eh? Listen, I'm a big fan of the red, eh? But, but I think that this Python yellow, if I'm going to get an S3, I'm getting it in Python yellow. Really? Absolutely. I was going to just ask you that now. Money, no option. Or money, no, no issue. What would you choose of all these cars? We've got I'm 11 right different here. cars. I, I, yeah, because I like this, the, the, the styling kit. I like it's an S3, so I've got the power. I like the color. I like the grill. I like those seats. It's, it's a beautiful car. And these wheels, hey, they don't hurt, eh? They don't hurt at all. 
But folks, there you have it, a quick snapshot as to what is available on the new Audi A3. But as I said, that's just a snapshot. Uh, my advice to you is go to the configurator on the Audi website, uh, sit with your customers and have a look at all those different options. Because the colors, as you know, there's a myriad of colors, all the different wheel options, all the different spec levels and trim levels. So spend a bit of time, play around with it and customize a car to suit your customers specifically. Now normally when we launch a new car, we just launched the A model. But in this instance, we've actually launched the S version at the same time. It's funny you should say that because I always wanted to know what's so special about the S models, you know? I, I just, I've always had, I had the normal 1.4, so. Well, you know the drill by now, we have an S model and I'm the lucky one to show you. Just like cell phones are getting smaller, Nobody's got a brick anymore, just look at my latest Nokia. So performance cars are also getting smaller. And it's amazing what Audi have done. They've taken a performance car, we normally know that as a big sedan, and they've put it into a small package. Let me tell you, this car is amazing. Under the hood here is a 2 litre with 165 kilowatts. 280 newton meters of torque, performance is blistering. It has Quattro all-wheel drive with a Haldex clutch. You're not going to believe it. Nor 200, 6.5 seconds. So acceleration is amazing. And of course, this new S3 has got the looks. Just look at this. Audi's grill with a silver detail around and an S3 badge. I can't imagine an Audi needing a bigger grill. Look at the big, huge, actually huge air intakes at the bottom and fog lights. And we've also got technology from bigger cars in a smaller car, it's got Xenon lights as standard. The latest stuff is in this car. Have a look at the mags. Now they're 17 inch with low profile six spoke mags. It's a doozy. Come have a look at the back. Of course, it has a different lower bumper section and S3 badge. And what you're gonna love is two huge exhaust pipes to tell people this is not just an A3, this is an S3. Have a look inside, because the detailing from the outside is just as special carried over on the inside. Here on the inside of the S3, these special details continue. Alcantara is everywhere. Recaro sport seats with Alcantara. And let me tell you, they really keep you in place. And you're going to need it with this Quattro all drive system. Looking at the dials in the S3, they're gray with white instruments, a very sporty steering wheel, of course, we know CDs are the future. This has got a six CD changer and full climate control. Can you believe it? Also, safety wise, the S3 has got you covered. Driver, passenger, curtain and side airbags. So this car has got it all and it's packed with all the technology and all the performance you want. Coming to think of it, I can see no way at all that Audi can improve on a car like this. But I still wonder, what would an S3 be like in the future? An S3 is about two things. It's about what's under the bonnet and performance, and it's about the look. And I know what you're thinking. We're down on power. The previous S3, 228 kilowatts, 400 newtons. This S3, 213 kilowatts and 400 newtons. So what's that performance difference gonna be? Now, let me assure you, I've driven it. It feels strong, really acceleration is excellent. But still, your mind's going, is it worth it? So the competitors, the BMW, they claim 4.8 nor 200. Mercedes-Benz claim 4.7 nor 200. So on paper, we're the slowest. But what we've done is, we've set up a drag race a little bit later. You've got that to look forward to. And we're gonna drag race them, we're gonna see how much are we out on performance because we're down a little bit on power? That's what you've got to look out for later. Let's get to design. This car is really stunning. It looks awesome. Of course, the important thing here is a single frame grill. It's low. It's nice and wide. Of course, people can see you're driving in S3. Also, you'll see that the small details all over the single frame grill, these little silver details, the line that runs all the way along the bottom, the side blade, also with an aluminium silver look. And of course, this car has the matrix LED headlights. So with an S3, you'll see two lines in the daytime running lights. I think every S3 should have matrix lights. So rather spec them as opposed to the standard LED headlights. 
Wheel-wise, these are the standard wheels. I think they look great, but some of the options I actually prefer on the S3. Before I forget, you can have an S3 with a black styling package. That means, of course, this detail will be black. Those details inside the single frame grill will be black. This will be black and the blade at the bottom will also be black. On the standard car, aluminum look mirrors with a black styling package. They will be black as well. Plus window surrounds on black styling package will be in black. The blade at the bottom, nice and silver, that looks great. Now follow me to the back because this is where the action is as well. Now people that have performance cars want exhaust pipes. So four pipes and they're nice and big. Plus of course, the diffuser at the back with an S3 looks sporty. And lastly, the S3 badge, and that's what people are seeing when you pass them. Okay, that's the outside, it looks awesome. Let's hop on the inside. Sitting inside the S3, you want a difference between that and the standard model, and the S3 delivers. Of course, it's all about these sports seats that really hug you. They have nice detailing on the seat themselves. This specific car is with fine Nappa leather and beautiful rich stitching. We have red stitching around the sporty steering wheel and of course with paddles, so you can change the gears yourself. The pedals themselves have aluminum details. Of course, there's S detailing inside the dorsal, a red ring around the starter button, two-zone climate controller standard, and then something really special. If you look at the virtual cockpit, that display has something that says S performance, and you'll see it has a certain way that it's designed, and that actually goes back to that original Quattro from the 1980s. What you might not know is that those cars in the 1980s already had a digital readout, and that design looked like this design. So this is actually a hard back to the 1980s. So inside the S3, it's fantastic. It really feels like it needs to go. The following are standard specification highlights on the new Audi S3. Two-zone climate control, 19-inch tires, front and rear red brake calipers with S lettering, headliner in black, LED headlamps in the front and the rear with dynamic indicators in the rear, pedals and footrest in stainless steel, progressive steering, of course, Quattro all-wheel drive, rear parking eight, S details in the front and rear bumper with an S roof spoiler, S sport suspension and sport seats in the front. So let me tell you, let's do this. Let's go out to Juritech and let's drag race it and see if the looks and the performance match. Neil, where are you guys? We're right here, Nico. You don't need a radio. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even have batteries in it. Makes you feel important. That's exactly yeah, It's yeah, a power yeah. trip. Yeah. Psyching you out for this race. Yeah, exactly. I see this, I see this, I see this. But we also get radios. So I've already planned this thing. So everyone wants to drive the Audi, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. So what I've like done is, color. I have, we're gonna draw straws, okay? Uh, the longest straw gets to choose first, the medium one second, and the small, shortest one gets whatever's left. So, you go, sir. Okay, you go, sir. And you go, sir. Okay, one, two, Who's the winner? three, show. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> this is longer. Nico gets to draw first. He Audi gets five. the Audi. What do you want? I'm, I'm not having the old man's car. I'm going with the BM. Okay. Going with the BM. You guys right. taking fine. the BM? That's fine. Oh. I'm not scared. How are we going to do this guy? Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. All right. So my, my heart's definitely beating a little bit faster. Yeah, come, let's go. Let me beat you guys and get this over with. Okay, Craig, remember, the winner is the first one to the end, not the last one to the end. Oh, you've made that so clear. Okay, I'm ready to go. Let's get this done. All right, so the first run we're going to do now in full-on hardcore launch control mode. So I'll count it down uh, and it'll be three, two, one, go. So uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. All right, can I get a check? Are you guys ready? Ready. I was born ready. <laughs> I was born free. Okay, uh, I'm gonna count it down, guys. And here we go, ready for launch control mode. 
three, two, one, go. Does not matter, I still beat you. Shoot, Neil, that, that Merc launches. Wow. I cannot believe that. I was like a car length ahead after launch, and then the Audi just. I can't believe that. I, I had my foot literally through the floorboard, yeah, trying as fast as I possibly can. I can't believe that. C can I ask that we do it again? Uh, and honestly, I was a bit slow on the launch. If it's okay with you guys, can we do it again? Uh, I just want to see, can I get another chance to um, just react quicker? Did you pass Neil at the end there? I did indeed, I did indeed. That's impressive. Over how many meters is this? 400? Yeah, this is 400 meters, so everybody knows a 400 meter dash, so it's actually quite, you know, you're probably not going to dice anyway further than that. Okay, well, I still feel good about myself and my 135. I beat you from robot to robot. <laughs> <laughs> when they're very close robots, close together in a, in a short street. It was basically, yeah, just over the midsection of the traffic light. Just not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Nico, Nico gets a bit excited. Uh, when he hears three, then he goes for launch control mode. Okay, so uh, here we go on getting ready for launch control mode. Three, two, one, go. That in the bag again, and I've reacted uh, uh, better than, than the previous one. So, well done to the Audi. No, that's incredible. Nico, you sure that thing's standard? <laughs> Yo, that's amazing. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do is uh, just stick it in normal drive mode. So, D for this way, and left foot will be on the foot rest. Your right foot's on the brake this time, and when I count it down, you're going to just go from three to one and then just smash the accelerator as hard as you can and see what happens. So this is a typical sort of uh, a street race, like really sort of gloves off. No, uh, no fancy launch control or anything like that. Okay, I'm ready. You're ready. We noticed you at the robot and now we're going to dice you. Okay, cool. I'm going to count it down. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. That's quite interesting. So the Merc actually launched quite hard off the line, but then what happened there was the Audi again caught it. But what the surprise is for me is the BM with 450 Newton meters is just nowhere. It's in the bush. Yeah, and it just didn't want to go. It just didn't want to go. Yeah, maybe that's also the 8 speed Tiptronic. Okay, so what we're going to do now is in gear acceleration. So all the cars will be set up in comfort mode, just driving along normally and then just smash the accelerator and see what the kick down is like. So remember we have two different types of gearboxes. The Mercedes and the Audi have twin clutch transmissions, whereas the BMW has got an eight-speed Tiptronic gearbox with a torque converter. So my gut feel says that that will probably be at more of a disadvantage because it will be slower on the, on the kick down. But let's see how it goes. Okay, make sure you get your speed to 50 before we get to the camera and then just hold it on 50. And then as you get to the camera, I'm not going to count it down. When you get to the camera, just smash the throttle. So get up next to me, Nico. Can you maybe count us? Okay, I'll see if I can coordinate my counting down. Okay, getting ready, guys. So three, two, one, go. Now the kick down is amazing actually, it's quite fast. 
Okay, so that's one for the Merc. Amazing kickdown, I must say. I, um, I wasn't expecting that. So for the next run, we're going to do uh, 50 kilometers an hour, driving second gear. So second gear will be manually selected, and then again, just smash the throttle. So there's no delay of down changing or waiting for the gearbox to decide which gear it should be in. Um, and then just mash the throttle and then change up and see how that goes. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Somebody took some of my Newtons. There's no 450 here. Okay, so what we're going to do now is test the braking capabilities of these cars. So driving along at 120 kilometers an hour, which is something we do every day, uh, and then just hit the brakes as hard as possible and see how long they take to come to a complete standstill. Neil, a little bit more forward. Okay, I'm on okay. 120. So we're testing braking now. Let's see what the boys are doing. Come on, Merck. Very impressive. Let's see what they have to say. Wow. Wow. Hey, guys. <laughs> Hello, Alfred. That was a lot of fun. I had a great time standing there watching you race cars. Neil, come on. Come closer. That's impressive. Craig. So, guys, first and foremost, was that real? Was that, were you trying to win, Craig? That's yes, what I, I had to know. win something. Yeah, uh, you were trying. Yeah, you, yeah. You won in the braking, but the other things, I was wondering, I was like, maybe this car. No, nah, spot on, on the cones. Yeah, Craig, Craig is good at stopping. He's not good at going. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. From the conversations we had before you guys got in there, I think that the results actually surprised us a little bit. A little bit of surprise, because I didn't see, especially in the, in the, in the race, I didn't see that happening anyway i'm not going to go into it too much but but the bm's got braking performance okay. there is performance there is performance uh, braking performance they now to stop they now to stop yeah so, i mean that's quite Neil, a big difference tell us what was happening here tell us take us through the technical things because obviously i mean you're the guy yeah okay so we did uh five different tests so we did launch control with proper launch control and all the cars have launch control and they're very evenly matched because they all have transversely mounted engines with four-wheel drive systems more or less the same out power output more or less the same weight, but obviously the Audi was a surprise there. Yeah. Um, then we did a normal, what we call a street start. So it's like a gloves off kind of a race. Yeah. We don't activate launch control. Robot to robot, my friend. A classic robot, robot to robot. Hey, just pop, That's, pop. It. That's it. You're sitting at the traffic light. There's a guy pulls up next to yeah. you. You don't even have time to yes. activate launch yes. control because maybe... Your girlfriend is here. She's going to get upset. Things exactly. are getting hot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and that was again a surprise. I mean, the Merc did quite well there, but then again, the Audi snuck past and it's only, yeah. you know, it's down on power. Yeah. So that was quite a surprise to us. Then in gear acceleration, I must say the Merc surprised me with a kick down. It's okay. got a twin clutch transmission. When okay. it kicked down, the Merc just jumped ahead. But again, the Audi started creeping back. And I don't actually know who won that race because it was- uh, You you actually won. I, th yeah, I, think, you I, think, I think I stayed ahead yeah, of that yeah, one. Just won, yeah. Exactly. And, and again, the BM was nowhere, surprisingly yeah. so. You know, This is their new baby and it's the first time with a transfers engine, etc. cetera. But, um, and then the last test, the braking test, yeah, you can see the results for yourself. And this Amazing was for the completely BM. unscripted. We just said, let's see how it works. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm actually surprised yeah. at the results, but... So for an amateur guy, what I took from it was that, you know, I heard about the power and all that stuff, but it's, it's obviously not just about what's under the hood, it's also the way things are designed and put together. The way the car puts the power down, yeah. and the fact that I have less weight is probably a big advantage for me, is a lighter car makes for something it's easier to accelerate because there's a little bit less weight, and again, maybe... Um, 213 is not as little as we thought. We were worried about the fact that it has less power. I think most people were worried about the fact that there's less kilowatts. So guys, that was fun. That was a, that was a ton of fun. I learned a lot. Thank you so much. I feel, I'm sorry, Craig. It, it That's okay. I break, I break better. But, but at least, better. you know, in the I want end, something. You know. Cool. Thank you Thank so you. much. Very cool. Cool. Cheers, Thanks, Alfred. Awesome. Well, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. I really want to say thank you, Neil. Thank you, Brian. And of course, thank you, Alfred. It's been a lot of fun. Listen, guys, thank you so much. I actually had a great time. It's something I'm going to remember for a very long time. And everyone at home, just don't 
tune out now, please rate us on the app and make sure you give us some feedback. And um, I don't know, but uh, I was hoping you are going to say I could have one of these. You know what, they've got to get back to the academy, so you might as well take this one back. <laughs> if you can start it, you can drive it. I'm not having anything to do with this. Brian, I'm with you on this. I think let you and me get out of here. <laughs> what? Good luck. <laughs> well, on that bombshell, I hope you've enjoyed ideology as much as we have and learned a lot. Well, I hope you've enjoyed ideology as is ah. Well, we well I hope huh? Yeah. But well, well much as we have no, in done. Yeah. Well, I'm not Well, on that bombshell, I hope that you Neil, go, go, Neil, we don't need, Neil, go, go. Okay, Stolter. Well, well, on that bombshell, I hope you've enjoyed audiology. You've learned a lot. And what? Shut up, everybody. Are you, are you still here? I'd like to show you. Let's go and have a look at these. Okay, great. Nico in this TikTok business. Look at these beautiful daytime running lights. That'll arrive now and won't come on. You'll notice that the... Let me take you back to the studio because I forgot to say that stupid line. Fucker. <laughs> so Nico, you showed me all the outside of these cars. Now I... Uh... Oh, can I get back? Okay. Energy. It keeps in, in ah! If your car is involved in an Hey! Sorry, excuse, I forget your word. So we've got a ton of cars. Well, not a ton. A lot of amazing can I sorry. <laughs> okay, let's do that again, because when I saw your fingers going up on the back there, I got confused. <laughs> Coming to think of it, I can't think that ah uh, yeah. Walk around, scene one, slide two, take one, action. I want more money for that. Roll, walk around, scene three, slate one, take one. <laughs>